Well, what's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Business Every Day. My name is Jonathan, and on today's episode, what we are going to be doing is assembling the dust collection system for our Inventables X-Car CNC machine. Uh, this has been a needed upgrade for my CNC machine because this thing creates a heck of a storm of dust particulates when we are milling our material. And uh, so I will be adding the dust collection system to help mitigate that, uh, all that dust to here in my shop. Now, I am interested to see how this will come together and how I will incorporate it with all of my different carves. Now, I know some of them, I will have to adjust how I clamp my materials because the dust collection boot will get in the way of the regular clamp. So I might be making some of my own clamps during this episode uh, or just figuring out what is the best way to use my tape and CA glue or however that works out. So let's see how it works. So let's get started and assemble this dust collection system. Let's do it. A little side note here, uh, when you pull off the stickers off of a lot of the components, it leaves that sticky residue. One of the things that you can use is, I use a lemon uh, essential oil, and what it does is it actually removes all of the sticky off of your metal components. Now, I wouldn't use it on your plastic ones, but it works just as good, if not a little better, because you get the nice smell, as goo off. And so I use lemon essential oil uh, on all of my different components that have sticky residue on it. Fun fact, and I'll bring it up later, uh, that's one of my side gigs as well, is the teaching and distribution of essential oils. So, look at this. Business helping business. Okay, much better. Nope, never mind. Alright, fun fact, uh, you can actually assemble this from the top. Uh, who would have thought it? So you don't have to come from the bottom like the instructions say. You can actually come from the top. Maybe. Hypothetically. Maybe not on this side. We'll see. I might have to move some things. Let's give it a go. So you can get the boot brackets on uh, without without coming from the bottom because you can't do it from the bottom without uh, taking care of the sidebar here. Uh, but what you can do is move your router um, by adjusting your three adjustment screws here and also unmounting your home switch. And that way you can just slide the brackets on from the top.
this is going to be the M3 by 8 button head screws. Oh, before we continue, that uh, top bracket, the blue plate, it actually mounts on the underside. Yeah, I just totally missed that. That's what even the, what the picture is. I just totally missed that. Pot two. Let's try this again. don't know why you would mount screws upside down on a vibrating machine, but that's what it calls for. Maybe I'll throw some thread locker on here later. Okay, on the front right of the assembly here, we are going to be putting this little uh, bracket. So, I'm going to undo nut and let's be adding the bracket and we're swapping it out for an M14 M514 just a little longer it's already a t-nut in the track there Snug that, not completely tight. And then a nylon M5 inch nylon washer. Put our little wrench on there. And we can go to tighten this thing down. Again, tight, but not crazy tight. Sweet. Let the fun begin. If you have the new 2021 X carve, you're going to have extra pieces. Don't freak out. You're just going to have extra pieces um, because of the Z Pro relocation bracket, some button head screws, some other desk collection assembly uh, items that would uh, that you wouldn't get if you were just upgrading your old CNC machine. Uh, with a new dust collection system, so you got the extra brackets that fit the old X-Carve stickers, you know, dust boot, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, don't freak out if you have the new 2021, the one that came out in November of 2021. Uh, never fear, there are extra pieces, and I have found that to be so 
uh, with this new machine bundle is that they don't tell you where there are extra pieces, but there are actually quite a few of them. So don't freak out. Well, the first thing that we're going to try and cut with the new dust boot is going to be a bit and tool holder. Let's see how this goes. Let's check it out. So, with the dust boot, uh, I gotta say, there is so much less dust. Uh, you got to adjust the height of the boot um, according to your material. So I started off with it, it was uh, too low, and then this was just a little bit too high. Um, but as you can see, there's a little bit of powder here. Uh, but most everything has been collected. Um, you can see the little bits of material from actually my last carve. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. Dust boot actually works. Yes. Well, that is a wrap, my friends. The dust collection system has been assembled and installed. And we have made our first cut with this full vacuum system. I'm very, very pleased with how it turned out, the dust has been greatly reduced. I would say 80, 90% um, of the dust that I was seeing before has been eliminated by the dust collection system. I could see how, depending on what I'm cutting, it may or may not be useful to actually uh, implement the dust collection system, depending on the kind of material and how I have to clamp it down. It just, I'm just gonna say it depends, uh, but I'm going to do my very best so to use this on every cut. Um, whether or not I'll be successful in that, I mean, I, time will tell. But the dust collection system, I highly recommend as an added uh, bonus to your bundle. Uh, you get it with the bundle, but if you already have an x carve machine, I would highly recommend getting the dust collection system. Uh, I feel like you can make one fairly easily, but uh, the one that actually comes with the Inventables package uh, seems to work out quite nicely. So. Yeah, let's keep carving and see what happens, but the dust collection system is complete and we're ready to do some more work. So thank you guys for joining in. Catch you next time. Have you any idea why?